Capitalism is uh, based on the idea of uh, capitalizing. That's what capitalism mean, actually means. Capitalism is a system what capitalized others, no matter if it be nature or other humans. It is based actually on the mindset of might make right. If you have the power, you can do it. Or you can also say the mindset of a bloodsucker or a parasite. Malcolm X have called um, capitalism once a bloodsucker. It's nothing more than a bloodsucker. You show me a capitalist. And I show you a bloodsucker. He is nothing more than a bloodsucker. He has to get it from someplace else. Surprise! All that uh, luxury comes from a place. And what capitalism do? That's the reason that I support uh, minimalism. And not so much scientific and, and sustainability instead of insanity. But if we not uh, take capitalism as one system, because the essence of capitalism is to turn nature into commodities and turn commodities into capital. The life green earth is turned into nothing more than dead broke rich with luxury items for the view a toxic cesspools for the masses. Wherein one desperate demoralized humanity is held in captivity with drugs, with TV and with armed force. So, yeah, what I want to say is that capitalism always ends in totalitarianism. There's a government with total power take over its citizens. You can also call it a nanny, an extreme nanny culture. Because technically the two are similar. The system cannot uh, give freedom for any victim because the capitalist system needs others to suffer to grow themselves. It is not uh, based on something the system himself. Is not based on sustainability. It is based on short time solutions and on making money the fastest and the quickest without uh, boundaries for any anonymity. It is like a pyramid, so can you can say it actually. Worker class uh, work the hardest. From uh, the Humi, or so most you call them uh, humans, even human is a lake old term. And in the time of slavery, black people were not called humans, but chattel or troll or bound man or something like that. Also servants. Savage when also wing called. But yes, what are to the point? If we not want to have a capitalist, what kind of system 
you can then choose. You can also choose a communist one. Not like that, uh, what they say that Russia is. Russia is not communist. In the time of the Cold War, when they um, have executed Tsar um, um, Char Nicolas um, Romanovsky and his whole family, in that time, uh, and they're with uh, Leoin, they turned in one socialist party, and he believed that it was a certain uh, faction of uh, communism. But technically, uh, but actually, in reality, uh, he have uh, worked actually um, Russia into the hands of the capitalist system. What you can say that um, Russia in, re in reality is in contrary with the, uh, what the media wants to you to believe. Um, you can say that the government of uh, Russia is capitalist with some fascist influence um, with a lot of um, hypocrisy and a little bit of uh, sprinkles of uh, socialism. Because um, not to uh, communism. Communism, the system of communism, actually the ID, the ideology, is based that the whole majority of the whole system is equal uh, based in the uh, whole uh, system, in the whole society. It's, it's actually a classless system. What I support and what I uh, think is the best is a system uh, that not supports the big wealthy people but actually supports uh, small um, companies, sm small um, businesses and people that work for themselves instead of that that work for multi-billionaires that suck all the money to themselves. Look in the world, for one example. What we see, all the rich people in the West, also some in the, in the other countries, because we have not a true communist uh, party ever in the whole world. <laughs> even even Yemeni is a hypocritical uh, form, and China is a hypocritical form of communism. So, if you go to a little bit to research about China and Japanese, you see that the world is not good uh, spread around the whole country. Some country, some places in China be extremely poor, and others being rich, uh, being just as rich as most places in the West. It's extremely uh, debt poor in the whole uh, system. So don't uh, lay uh, the ideology of um, communism. That's a fault of the human selfishness. But they nothing to do with communism. Understand? In a, in a true communist society, you have not a lot, a lot of difference, or actually no difference between poor and rich. Because um, they know that all um, jobs being important for the sustainability of the system. And that without um, cleaners, then um, bankers cannot go uh, to uh, the bank and make money. Without uh, good working uh, farmers that uh, don't pollute their own ground to make some profit out of it, uh, like the GMO um, companies do. Without good farmers, 
we have not a um, wor good working society because nobody can eat. So farmers, spectacular um, plant farmers, the true farmers actually, because you don't can farm animals. That's slavery. And then you can also go to that criteria because in the time of slavery, the uh, slaves were called, were also put in plantations. There are, you have slave plantations. Think about that. How can you actually say logical and morality? No. That's you can you can farm a living sentient creature. I want you to think about that before you say uh, something about this topic. And not blare the first stupidity that come out of your mouth or your head into the comment section because I will delete them. I have no time for that idiocy. What I've served on time shards from uh, people with a slave master mentality. If you are not a victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not the victim, it becomes pretty easy to make fun of your victims. Uh, label them stupid and dirty. Say that they don't be important at all. You are a victim. Things are not different from the I been myself um, convinced that one uh, communist uh, philosophy of uh, spreading the wealth around the whole spectrum instead that it can only go to some places, just like uh, capitalists do. Capitalist mindset is uh, the reason. That some people, the most richest people in the whole world, own the top 1% of all the people on the planet, earn more money than all the other people on the world to combine. People like uh, Bill Gates, they can easily buy a whole country. Is that not insane? <laughs> I think it is insane. That um, that we live in a system that allowed that there are uh, so much poor men in the world and allowed to for the rich to get richer. Instead, that that spread to the whole spectrum and uh, pollute the whole environment with it as well. Let we be honest. The only reason that they're in uh, Indonesia destroy um, pectoral ground, pectoral ground, and destroy the rainforest with uh, the rainforest that they're being. Uh, Indonesia rainforest to make place for palm oil plantations. The main reason is the West. The West, they profit from it. In the longer run, the uh, farmers of the plantations and the animals, they suffer on it. I have to become a, a change in this kind of systems. And there have been, a, been also some uh, things that can be incentivized. If they uh, care more about uh, sustainability instead of profit, if the whole system changes from its arrogant, elitist mindset, and look the whole spectrum, instead that they put blinders. If the West people in the West, in the Western countries, in the first world countries, uh, learn that's they're not living on a magical fantasy land. And that anything in this whole planet 
is interconnected with each other. And that they're being destroying even the futures of their children or their family members or their nephews with their friends, children or with kind of whatever. And uh, they have to stop living in fantasy land. And also learn to accept that the three most important laws of this world being broken by the most biggest thefts of the whole planet, the two legged one, the three laws of equality. First, that the power of an ecosystem is dependent on diversity between species. Second, that uh, no species live without um, interacting with our there are laws of final resources that are being limited of um, materials, uh, sources, um, resources, and that means limited in growth. That all all animals being interdependent on each other, and humans being not an island on their own. We have to learn to live in harmony with the three laws of equality. Gandhi was true. The world gives enough for anybody's need, but not enough for anybody's greed. A lot of the palm oil um, is not only a, is not a vegan issue or necessary. Because in a lot of uh, house cleaning products, uh, we also put it palm oil. And also, uh, a lot of uh, palm oil is fed to um, animals in agriculture. Just like uh, something like 80% uh, 80 to 90% uh, of all the um, Soil on the planet. It's not feed to humans, it's feed to livestock. Humans. It's time to wake up. Stop saying that others clean your problems for you. That others will do it. Newsflash. You have to clean your own shit. There be not enough people to clean the shit of all shitty people that make shit up. You have to take responsibility. The will they come that people like me watch over their world and look to the societies being there now on this moment with the same despise with the same calm down as people once look how was people now look on the system of slavery and the systems of uh, sepi and all lot of other evil traditions